come on in. Come on in. What's up, it's Steve from Craft Talk, ladies and gentlemen. It is your man Theo Butler. Welcome to another exciting episode. I ain't saying I'm just saying with the Rock Nation. Y'all go ahead and clap that thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before we begin, before we begin, like. Share, yeah, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. And y'all see what we got going on today. Marilyn Moonlight, Superman, Dawn of DC, issue two. Yes, yes, we're going to crack this puppy on open. I, I, man, listen, I've been wanting to bring this to y'all for a minute. Shout out to my comic book store, local comic book store, for, out comics, for making the other issues that she appeared in available to me so I can bring it to y'all. Yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our creative team. We got writer Joshua Williamson. Artist Jamal Campbell and literal Ariana Mayer. That's what we got. Night of the Parasites. Admittedly, like I said, I only picked this comic up for one reason, and y'all see her right there on the cover. I got three more comics to bring y'all with her in it. We're going to make it do what it do. Side note as well. Anytime you see a green word balloon, that is Lex Luthor talking to Clark via Clark's super hearing and everything like that. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, you could just talk to somebody because you know they got super hearing. So, that's what we're going to do. We open up with Superman being jumped in by what appears to be a gang of parasites. Notice I used the word jumped in because that's what it looked like. It looked like they jumping the dog in. Not on. Jumping them in. That's what it looks like. Superman, Clark, flexes his pecs. That's why you got to get on the peck deck machine, fellas. You, you, you never know when you need to go and have folks go flying and everything like that. <laughs> anyway, y'all like Theo. I thought Parasite was one person. I did too. It's clearly not what's going on right now. More on that later. Clark wants to get a better look, so he uses his X-ray or infrared, one of them damn visions, <laughs> and sees a city crawling, litter, full of parasites. Yes. How did this happen? Now, we find out it seems that a secret order of mad scientists or homicidal geniuses, as they prefer to call themselves, cut up Bizarro, toyed with kryptonite, kryptonite, thus allowing them to alter Parasite's abilities and unleash him on Metropolitan. Like, who would do it? It's the same people. <clears throat> same people that released Monster Zero. Godzilla. I know that. They appear to be led by Graf, someone named Graf, and Dr. Farm, who can't talk. Because the last time he did, he made his mother's ears bleed for days. That's that's what your vocal cords work on? Anyway, because um, that's what the book said. Seemingly, his idea is that the best way to help people is to hurt people. Son, is he related to Zoom? I'm just asking. <laughs> Back to Metropolis, specifically, Super Court. I don't Super Court? Lex Corp, Super Corp. We find Mercy Graves handling her business with a number of parasites until Soups shows up with his freeze breath. <laughs> Bro, you got to always have some 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 spearmint, some regular spearmint gum on you. Just uh, some icy hot. So, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, does he chew gum when he do that? Since Luther's been in his ear, this whole damn issue. Cal asks Mercy, what does she know about the scientists unleashing parasites on Metropolis? Still not knowing who anyone other than Batman lies to. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know why anybody, essentially, I don't know why anybody lied to Superman. Like, I don't, he know you lying. So, anyway, we see an incarcerated Luthor trying to convince Clark that he needs to be released. Ain't nobody checking for you, Luthor. <laughs> Ain't nobody come to see you, Luthor. <laughs> nobody. Anyway, everyone is on social media. Like, Ain't nobody checking for you. After instructing Mercy to turn the power back on at Supercorp, he asked her for a status update. He asked her, not her. He asked John and Carl for a status update. Um, uh, just gonna sit here for a little bit and enjoy. You know, Lois shows up in this comic as well. Dear Marvel Comics, father, mother, son, cousin. Image, representation. I yearn for this. DC has you beat with Jefferson Pierce, Lynn Stewart, Vanessa Pierce. And Jennifer Pierce, i.e. Thunder and Light. I'm, 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 I'm yearning for something that I ain't getting 
and I'm asking y'all for it. Um, I've been around for a minute. What you gonna do this after I'm dead and gone? I'm just I'm just asking. Could you? Cause I plan on being around here for a minute, so we could get T'Challa and Aurora together, have a Zuri as a as a child before I reach the age of sixty, which is in five years. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Back to our story. John tells his father, Cal, he couldn't find mom, Lois. <laughs> That that Clark Clark he 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 gonna find his wife, and who is this young lady? The whole reason for this video. This is Marilyn Moonlight. Apparently, while Superman was gone, I'm thinking the event where the world um went through the Justice League. They thought the Justice League was dead. The Teen Titans. I'm thinking anyway. Suits wasn't around. She tells Suits she just did him a solid before issuing him a warning and literally recharging his batteries with moonlight. I'm I'm wondering, I'm going back to this whole Lex Luthor thing. I'm wondering if he could just tune out Lex Luthor. Um, because that constant nagging, I I I wouldn't be able to take that. I'm just saying I got Ted Nights, I wouldn't be able to take that. Him <laughs> anyway, that said. Clark does find Lois, who is looking kind of parasitish. Can I say parasitish? <laughs> and she got back up. Seems like the parasite virus has become airborne. And Superman ain't immune. Y'all see that picture right there? Anyway, I'm going to be bringing y'all some more stuff with Marilyn Moonlight. Thank y'all so much for this. I, I Listen, I told y'all I only bought this comic. I don't care nothing about the parasites. I don't. I, I ain't even checking to see how that story tied. Finish. I ain't, I just want to know some more about Marilyn Moonlight. I'm hoping you want to more, know more about Moon Marilyn Moonlight. Leave some comments in the comment section. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Listen, that's my time. I'm out. Click like, share, subscribe. You like? Leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Also, Kim, we trying to get to 900. Stomping like a big dog and everything like that. December's a few days away. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.